Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to your Hostinger website. For that, first you have to log in to hpanel.hostinger.com and also to your GoDaddy account. Now you have to click on my account here and go to the domains option here. If this domain option is not visible here, you can also access it from this option. Just click on your name here, then go to my products. Now scroll down and you will see all products and services connected to your account here. You can see this is my domain which I want to connect to hosting a website. Click on manage here. Then from the left side bar here, go to domain. I have multiple domains connected. So I will select the right one. Then click on manage DNS on this page. Click on name servers tab. Right now you can see this domain is using the default GoDaddy name servers. We have to change it. But before making any changes, make sure you have backup of all your DNS records, especially if it is already connected to any existing services like your business email or some other website, because after changing the DNS records, all your existing changes will be lost. For creating a backup of your settings, you can take a picture of all your current default name servers that you're using, or you can just simply save it in a notepad and then go to DNS records here. You can click on actions here and then you can click on this export zone file. So it should back up all the existing records and you can also take picture or screenshot of your existing DNS records. And after that, again, go back to name servers, click on change name server, click on, I will use my name servers. Now let's go back to the hosting a dashboard here. After logging in, go to websites, go to website list. From here, click on add website. Then you have to select the type of website you want to create. For example, WordPress, website builder or empty PHP HTML site. So I will use the empty website option because I just want to show you this tutorial and it will be much uh, quick. Now you have to type the domain name which is registered with GoDaddy here. So this is the domain name. I will simply copy it from here and paste it. Now you have to select this first option. Do you own this domain and want to use it? Select this and hosting will display this notice. This domain is registered at another provider. You have to verify to continue to use it with your website. Click on next for any type of website you want to create, be it WordPress, website builder or any custom website. The process is exactly same. Now here on you will see this notice domain isn't connected to your website. To connect it, you have to use this check guide option or you can also select this option domain action required. It will lead you to the same exact page. I will click here. Now Namecheap will provide you these instructions. We have to copy this name server here. Simply click on this icon to copy this record. Go back to GoDaddy and paste this record here. Again, go back to Namecheap, copy the second record and paste it here. Make sure there is no spelling mistake or extra space, then click on save. Now confirm you want to change the name servers, click on continue and you will see this notice your request is in progress. It will take some time. Usually it takes about 30 minutes for the DNS propagation to take effect. I will show you how you can also verify it manually. For that, you have to go to my website smarthelpguides.com. The link will be in the description. Click on check DNS records. It will take you to my another website. Now go to GoDaddy, copy your domain name here. Go back to this website and paste your domain name. Then here select NS, click on find. Now this tool will check your domain existing name servers. So currently it is showing this name server which belongs to GoDaddy, not to Hostinger. You can see here the new name servers. You have to just refresh this page once. If it is still showing the old GoDaddy name servers. Okay, now it is showing the new Hostinger name servers. But currently if you check the DNS propagation status, currently the DNS has not been updated. I would suggest you to check it after 30 minutes and then you can also go to Hostinger here. Click on I have changed the name records. Click on finish and Hostinger will also show you the same message that it will take some time for the DNS update process to be completed. 
Click on close here. After 30 minutes, you can verify from this website that it is reflecting the new hosting name records. After that, you can also refresh your hosting H panel. Then it will show you that your domain is connected and your website should start working. But even if after that your new domain name is not correctly showing your website in your browser, you can try a different device. For example, you can try it from your mobile because of caching sometimes that issues happen. So you can restart your browser computer and your issue should be resolved. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I will try to help you out. Also, just one last thing. If I go back to main menu here and here for existing websites, if you do not want to use the add website option or you have already created a website with a temporary domain, then you can use the change domain option. And then the steps are exactly same as I showed you after clicking on the add website option.